What's up, yo? Ron back at you with yet another car video. Why I push the body game so hard? Yeah. And you know what? I push it so hard for one simple reason. Out of all the games that I've involved, styles and whatever I've been involved with, that's been the most effective. Uh, that's that's really just it. That's been the most effective. Now, let me say why I say this. See, you know, a lot of people get into like, well, is there a study and all that? No, motherfucker, I've been out there. <laughs> Shit. Master teacher BGS called me field master for a reason. And I told y'all where I've said several times where I grew up at in my experience. Because a lot of like a lot of the stuff that's taught by, I don't know, dating coaches and stuff or seduction gurus or PUAs, whatever, whatever term they want to use, you know, OGs. <laughs> Shoot, a lot of that stuff I mastered before I graduated high school. Because as far as meeting women and stuff, see, I had a very good motivation starting in high school to develop that thing of ours we call game. I went to an all-male high school. And I told you. And for people who always like, well, I don't know, Archbishop Carroll in uh, D.C. Okay? Shit. And the thing is, you know, teenager, you want to meet women, but you didn't have women in class. So, shoot. I met a woman on the street. I had to book her on the spot. And that's slang for getting her number. We said, hey, did you book her? You know. <coughs> this weather. Anyway, right? So, you know, if you're talking about direct approach, that was me because I was kind of crude when I was younger. You know, you're talking about having a conversation with the woman talking. Shit, I had the gift of gab. I can chat up any woman and stuff, you know, meeting them at parties and stuff or at the go-go. <laughs> she had that. Like I always say, I wasn't going to, I wasn't ready to win no dance contest, but shoot, I could grind up on that butt at the go-go, you know, trouble funk, R.E., Chuck Brown, <laughs> You know, backyard band, junkyard. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, you had to have all of that stuff. So all that thing that people would call game, shoot. Also, I had uh, style, you know. I had style everything. And, you know, the thing was, I wasn't even like the super cool kid and stuff. I was a cool bama. <laughs> Because I was around some people even more stylish, even had better game. But, you know, I could hold my own, though. Shit. Now, the one thing, now you got play behind it, but, you know, it wasn't what uh, I could have gotten, but it was, like, better than most people. Because they say, oh, man, he can talk to those women or those girls and stuff. Or, you know, he got her phone number. Well, you know, it was nothing. It was nothing. So, hey, that level. And, you know, that was good enough to think you had it. Because, I mean, you get people, they charge, like, thousands and stuff for coaching to get what I had just coming out of high school. Like, it was second nature and stuff. Yeah, let me see. Let me get this real quick. Yeah, it was, sec it was second nature. So, I was just like, okay. Boom. And then I had mentioned before, I had been in, uh, I'd say for a federal law enforcement agency, it had been an application process, uh, you know, in the early 90s. So I had to start working out harder. I mean, hey, started in the gym, but that wasn't going hard, hard, you know? And then even in high school, I was on more on the slim side because I played, uh, I ain't play football, I played soccer, so we were running around a lot and stuff. So I was on the slim side, and then, you know, after college, at the graduate level, yeah, Ram was putting on some weight. <laughs> still had, but you know what, still had plenty of dates, you know, slobbed plenty of women down, had sex with some women, some, I'm going to emphasize the word some. Right? And it was, it was enough to make people think, oh yeah, he, he a player. It was enough from that perspective. And then, you know, I had to start working out harder for the, this uh, particular job. 
can't mention what it was. And that's when I started seeing something else. That's when I got really introduced to the body game. You know? Like one woman said, I look like a cross between a Marine and an exotic dancer. So I was just like, oh, snap. And that's when I really got it. Because, you know, and then from there, that's when I saw the shadow world. Because, I, you know, there were some women who I had dated, you know, back when I had that other stuff. But, you know, they weren't parting with the panties. They saw the new body all of a sudden. They were doing vile things to me. You know, and I saw this. I didn't have to read about it or wonder about it. I directly experienced it. And then, you know, since I was working out more, hanging out with other dudes who were like hard in the gym and stuff. And they had, psh, man, they had women sending them love letters and stuff, chasing them down, like several of them, like ch- handing them the poo. And one thing I also noticed, too, because they had a, I had a little bit of that money and status game, too. And that was, that was like based on where I was going to school. And I noticed I ain't had to use it as much. Or at all, really. They, weren't, they were getting right past all of that. So I was just seeing, I was seeing the other side of it. And like I said, it wasn't just me. You know, hanging out in the gym and stuff. You, you round other dudes hitting, it, hitting their body and then women going crazy over them. Shoot, even a couple of them, shoot. The women told me they wanted them. They said, hey, who's your friend? <laughs> you know? And, you know, you start pushing it. And this is just something you've constantly seen over the years. I mean, you know, I remember one time I'm, I'm working in a government office. A woman was like, hey, you know, well, we're having a party and we can't catch up with this exotic dancer. You're, you want to come? We'll pay you. And I was like, no. Because at the time, I had uh, political aspirations. Well, y'all be surprised Rom's past. Anybody who doubt that, I tell you what, put out $10,000 and I'll give you my credentials. Anyway, right? I was like, uh, I was like, oh, wow, okay, maybe, you know, I said, yeah, that sounds good, but I got to think long term, right? That's when I started finding out real. That's when I really started finding out about the shadow world and stuff. And, you know, how women be paying for that shit. They be paying, they be paying guys uh, just on their bodies and stuff. Remember the other day I mentioned a gigolo thing? Uh, look in the uh, description box. I actually put a link to a gigolo site. And all you have to do is just go. First of all, you can see the guys building all of that. But just uh, just hit their prices. <laughs> just hit their prices. And you'd be like, oh, snap. And my thing is this. My thing is this. Because, you know, everybody, they like, well, I don't feel like lifting. I don't do all that. But let's be real, man. A lot of it, it's a style. If you don't want to engage in that style for whatever reason, you're free not to. You don't have to. Because if you direct approach a woman, you know, direct approach a woman or even indirect in some cases you know you got a chance of winning now you know because it, it you know that level it depends on uh can you click with her personality was and a lot of women they'll get past what you you know your bodybuilder or whatever if they click with you just takes a little bit longer or you know money and status does work to an extent it does work as long as you ain't think it, it works best if you are just using it as bait and that you ain't trying to like wife the woman up. Like a woman see you got some money or some or some status and you just go in and get what you want. That's kind of dirty game to me, but it works. Right? And if you got style, oh style works very well. You know, whatever you got, there's different styles. It's uh you know, it's like martial arts, you know, some people doing uh kung fu, taekwondo. You know, American karate, kung fu. You know, so it's the same thing. It's just that from personal experience, I saw body game. <laughs> just the level that it works. Because, like I said, I put that link to uh, this gigolo site in the description box. Just look at the prices. I know some women going to be looking at the guys. But look at their prices. And then ask yourself, why women paying for it? Or... Like I said, I had been approached. I had been approached to be a uh, male exotic dancer. Or at least a dancer for this party. And, you know, just, I've known several crews of them. 
And, you know, I remember when my book, Nice Guys and Players, first came out. I was at this thing. It was a black expo. And they set me up near four crews of exotic dancers. And the women log jammed that. I mean, they, they log jammed that area. They logged jam that area. I mean, they they were over up in there. And these guys were walking around with their shirts off. The women were going crazy. You start seeing that. And then working in gyms, I'm seeing a lot of stuff happening where, you know, female gym members, they get in there and they checking out the most muscular guys. So I just say, you know. And then just personally, I was like, man, wait a minute. Despite all that other stuff I had, this works better. So, you know, I still got all the other stuff. I can still chat up any woman and stuff and approach if I feel like it and stuff. But I was like, well, damn. Getting the body tight, they approach me. So I was like, well, wait a minute. And that's what I'm saying. Now, like I said, if you don't want to do that, that's fine. But I push it because it's effective. Plus, I got, I've had several testimonies from some guys who uh, got into it or they say damn you know what I lost a little bit of weight and all of a sudden these women going crazy well, I put on some muscle they telling me that there's several comments like that and people definitely telling me uh, you know private you know so it's like you know that's it I'm big on I'm about to double down on it because it was something else told but I gotta keep that private I gotta keep that private a uh, young lady said something to me and I was like wow I got to double down on it. Because my thing is this. You know, this is my business. This is my business. I'm, I'm just going to tell you what, what's the most effective shit, you know, that I've seen. Now, this ain't against anybody else who maybe teach something else. If it works, it works. And like I said, if you don't want to do the work in the gym and get your body right, hey, you fair to. Try the other thing. Learn how to dress. You know, <laughs> learn how to get that style down. Learn how to approach effectively. Learn all that. I mean, you can get something. But, you know, when I talk to uh, guys, uh, like when I did my survey, and you remember I did that player survey, player questionnaire? One of the questions I asked on it was their body types. And, you know, these guys, the overwhelming majority of them, except for one, it was like one or two guys, they definitely weren't players. They just wanted to take it for some reason. But the majority of them had high counts. And I asked them their body types. And a few of them uh, followed me on uh, IG. And I can see they in the gym working out and everything. So it's just effective. It's just effective. You know? Because that's one of the things. And, you know, you always get somebody to say, well, it's not, a, it's not this or that. They don't, well, one, they don't work out. Two, they can't, if you ask them their argument why it ain't, they can't point to anything. They can just talk it, but they can't say, well, you know, is this thing or they can't say from their personal experience why it's not effective. I put it like that. They can't say, hey, you know what? Or they knew somebody who did all that and it still didn't work for. You know, so. Yeah, that's why I say, you know, I'm just going to tell them. Yeah, I can see that with my sons and stuff. They, uh, cause I'll be taking to the gym twice a week and then you know they working out at this school <laughs> and I'm seeing like I said my mold is one he try to act all shy and stuff but women go crazy over him they go crazy they be staring at his ass and my youngest youngest and stuff I lost track of how many girlfriends he had <laughs> he just turning 15 but both of them hitting the gym you know both of them got good body builds a lot of this stuff just genetic because really before the age of 18 dudes don't really build up build up because you're still growing really still growing until you're 30 but you know like i said it works it works hell even with me now 55 year old man you know women who deal with me specifically like stocky men Anybody who, you know, doubt that or want to see how strong I am, let's go in the pit. Straight hits. <laughs> like football style, just straight. Get in that three-point stance. Whistle. Bam! So, yeah, let's see what's up. So. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Anyway, that's it. That's it. That doesn't look familiar. The voice of my head now. Anyway. Oh, it ain't a romantic thing, y'all. Trust me, it's an older woman. She look like a mother figure I had. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah, that's it, man. That's why I do it, man. It's just effective, man. And hell, if anybody questioned it. <laughs> oh, man. Check out uh, C Boogie's accounts and uh, Cousin Tito's accounts at the summit and the after party. That was a clinic in <laughs> it like that. Because I told you Cousin Tito built like a superhero and shit. So anyway, y'all, I'll get back with y'all. Peace. Wait a minute. <laughs>